Hello, my name is Kelton Glenby with Roadware Incorporated, and today we're going to simulate repairing a hole in concrete. Our hole is about six inches deep and about an inch and seven eighths diameter. Uh, we're going to mix side A and side B of concrete mender at a one to one ratio. Uh, we mix for about 15 seconds with a stick like this. It's very easy to do. Concrete mender is very low in viscosity, so manual mixing like this is just fine. I want to pour enough concrete mender into our hole to fill it up about halfway. It'll give me enough concrete mender to fill the hole when I add the sand, which I have sitting next to it, into the hole. I want enough sand to fill the entire hole, as you see here. This is 40-30 grit silica sand, and by pouring it into the concrete mender like this, we'll ensure it gets completely saturated and will fill the repair all the way up to the top. It doesn't matter the diameter of the hole, just as long as you fill it up halfway with mender first and add the sand later. You want to pour that sand in slowly, and you want to use uh, dry silica sand and quartz. You do not want to use play sand, concrete sand, or any non-approved sand. And of course, everything has to be dry. Sometimes you have to add a little more sand uh, as uh, things settle down into the bottom. But just keep adding until you get a, up to the top, and you can trawl it off, and you have a finish that will be similar to concrete when you're done. Concrete mender is so thin it actually wants to grab onto the, the rock and the sidewalls of the concrete. And so what it's doing is it'll penetrate into that sidewall and all the little fissures and micro cracks uh, generated during the drilling process and lock itself into the concrete very, very well because of that low viscosity. Particle cure in about 10 minutes at 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, just some extra tips. You're going to want to keep your concrete mender and your sand at room temperature. Uh, you want to mask off the surrounding area uh, of the concrete with duct tape to protect from spills or ex excess material. I remove the duct tape as soon as the concrete mender starts to turn gray. Also, for a smaller hole, I would use a plastic funnel to fill. Uh, to fill would be much easier and uh, less mess. And also, your mixing cups. Uh, try to use a, a hard, clear plastic cup or a pail. Um, avoid styrofoam cups, uh, red solo cups, beverage cups, or paper cups when doing this. Thank you.